Oh yeah, I think um, all of our young players. I think it shows up. We just got to do it better. You know, that's the. You know, again, these guys are playing big time pro football for the first time and and uh, being in a different environment every week. There's a different challenge for them every week. Defenses change. You know, and there, there's just different. It's not a lot of got a lot of young guys that can come in and play at a high level uh, as a rookie week in and week out. And we get that. We understand that. But. Uh, we're asking guys to do more, to, to, to contribute more, because that's kind of where we are as a football team. So we got to get through those growing pains, and guys got to play consistently every time they go out there. When you look at David specifically, what areas are you trying to get him to kind of make that team? Well, I think, um, you know, we've, we've game planned a lot of things for him. Sometimes they just don't happen, and that's not his fault. Sometimes that's the defense and the looks we get. And, um, I think the thing that he can control is the blocking at the point of attack. You know, that's something that he has to control and um, do that job the best he can and making sure he understands assignment-wise everything he needs to do and then let the catches come. You know, let that part just kind of come to him. But do all the things that you're responsible for uh, that you can control and then let everything else just kind of come to you. About Andy Dalton, uh from the standpoint, obviously, you've coached him uh, as a coordinator for a couple of years and, and so forth. But uh, he was 10 and 2 before he got hurt uh, uh, in, in, in 15 and uh, had a uh, career high passer rating by a, a long shot at that point. At that point of uh, Andy's career, what was he doing right? What was he doing right then? Yeah. Uh, I think. At that point, when he was hot, he was 10 and 2. Right. Well, I saw a quarterback who had taking control of the offense. And um, uh, I just said, create an environment for him to to be the unquestioned leader of that offensive football team and the team, you know. Uh, obviously, that was through Marvin Lewis, who was the head coach. But uh, Andy took that role on and did everything he could to, to be somewhat the Pied Piper for the team. And I thought he did an excellent job. And, The criticism that goes with not winning uh, the, the last two years. I mean, you know whether. How, you mean how me tough. or him? Oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he 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 has a toughness about him that I don't think people know. I mean, he was surviving that prior to that. You know, hadn't been in the playoffs every year and didn't win. You know, I think people were really you know kind of down on that. But he came back and put together a great year. Fourteen wasn't as good. Fifteen, he was playing really well before he got hurt. So. Um, I know Andy extremely well. Well, he's a uh, God-fearing man, and he has a, a strength about him that gets him through a lot of different things. Is he enough quarterback, so to speak, to be a playoff winner, even though he hasn't won a playoff? Yeah, again, game? I think he can. You know, I don't think there's any question about that. He's good enough to to win a playoff game. There's no question about that. How well are the Broncos playing uh, lately, and just their defense in general? How, how well they're doing? They're playing good. Vontez is Vontez. You know, he's as good a middle linebacker there is in pro football. So. Uh, he knows how to play. He likes to play. He plays the game, you know, uh, a different way than than, than most. Uh, but he's very instinctual. You know, he he has unbelievable instincts about where the ball is going because I think he studies the game. He understands the game more so than people think. Um, and um, you know, he plays all three of those linebacker spots for him. So he he's very very bright. Uh, but he's done a good job in the defense overall. I think's been been playing good all year. You know, when you watch him. Uh, Coach Gunther's done a really good job with that group. I don't think they started off as well as they wanted to, but lately they've been kind of the catalyst for the football team to win some games, and so they've done a good job. You know, how do you think your defense has improved since that fourth week of the season when you played the other Well, I think we're, we're making more plays. I think we're still uh, consistently stopping the run. You know, I think we've still done that. I've been a play or two that's broke out here and there. Um, I think we've, for the most part, kept the points down a little bit, maybe not where we wanted to be. But I think as a unit, you know, because we've lost some players and we've had some injuries, but I still think our defense consistently, week in and week out, have been out there on the field competing and giving us a chance to be in football games. Last, last season, um, it, it was about this point in the year, you know, guys would come around and say, hey, we're going to win a game, we're going to win a game. Christian Kirk, you spoke out about it. You Mm -hmm. I just don't, I haven't heard that this year. Oh, it's in there. Uh, talking about it is not going to do anything, though. I think our players know that. We can talk all we want. 
that's not what it's about. This is year two, and this, you know, um, yeah, like I've said before, it's unfortunate to even be having to talk about this, but we are. You know, I don't think it's fair to that locker room. I don't think it's fair to anybody involved. You know, we, we wish we wasn't talking about that, but I do know the fight that's in that room and the talk that we have. Uh, we're going to go find a way to win a game, and we want to win more than one game, you know. Because um, I know you tell us how pissed off you are about mm -hmm. it. I'm wondering if the players are too. Oh, they are. They're, they're more, probably more pissed off than me. But uh, I don't think them talking about those things are going to change anything. I think they understand and recognize that only people going to change it is the coaching staff and those players playing between the white lines when we play. Nothing else is going to change it. Because I know you said like you don't want young guys to get used to losing. No question. But what what has happened here so far? No, I I'm with you. I don't want our our young players. I don't want anybody here to get used to losing. You know, I'm not used to losing. I've never seen anything like this before in my life, and it's not okay. I'll be first to tell all of you that it is not okay. Uh, this is just where we are, and uh, I said before I'm pissed off about it. I stand by that. I think our players are too. Um, if we could, um, we're trying every week to do something about it. We just got to find a way to finish off a game and win. And um, then we'll get that off our back and then we'll continue on to the next one. Just a, a, even a little bit more to you to win it in Cincinnati? Absolutely. You know, Mary Kay, I'll win at the, at the grocery store if I could right now. I don't care. I just want to win something. You know, I don't, I, I kind of, this is, again, but I would go all day on this subject, so let's just keep on talking about something else. The question about Gary Silver, he has all kinds of experience at uh, his, uh, what was a new position, now his experience there. How's he coming along? I think Joe, Joe has done a really good job. You know, he's, uh, he's played the middle linebacker for us. Um, you know, he's um, done, a, done a really good job of directing when he was the guy that was calling the signals. Uh, Kirko has kind of taken that role over, and um, I think um, – Joe has still done a real good job of playing for us and, and again, uh, being able to tie the back end together and keep everybody moving forward. And uh, so, again, I think he's had a really good year. Um, and he's just got to continue to play well over these next six weeks. What do, you come for? what do you need to see out of Miles coming down the stretch? And how much harder will it be for him without having a manual on the other side? Go dominate the game. That's what he's here for. You know, I don't. You know, again, Emmanuel, losing Emmanuel is a tough blow, but at the same time, I think Miles is talented enough to go do what he needs to do. Uh, but everybody knows that, so everybody's going to be shooting to make sure he doesn't. So uh, his charge has got to be he's got to go find a way. You know, the guy's playing extremely hard, and he's played well. Um, obviously, we want more sacks. He wants more sacks, and uh, he needs to go make more splash plays, and I think he will. At this point of the year, what determines who your backup quarterback is? For a while, Hogan had bad reps. Right. So are they competing every week? At no, I don't look at it like that. I, as I said, when Hogan got hurt, you know, I made it Cody. It's not, it's not by um, competition or anything like that. I mean, obviously, uh, Kevin has played more in games than Cody has. It's, it's probably a feel more so of what the game plan is and what we're trying to accomplish more so than anything. Um, I think those guys, in my mind, the way I see them are, are really equal in what they're doing for our football team. It's been Cody over the last several weeks, just like it was Kevin, you know, when we first started off. So I don't – I think we're, we're, we're good. I think those guys all handled it extremely well and, and know where they are. What do you know about um, the left tackle for the Bengals? I think it's Abwehi, is that mm -hmm. you say? You were there when – Yes, the draft yeah. mm -hmm. And what do you – what do you know about him, and do you look forward to? I mean, Miles and him were. Yeah, they were teammates. You know, oh yeah, they were teammates. So I'm sure it'd be a good battle. You know, Cedric is uh, very talented, athletic, big guy. Um, again, you know, there he's trying to find his way in the National Football League as well. You know, so again, I guess those guys will be rekindling an old relationship that I'm sure they used to go at it in practice. So um, he'll be trying to block Miles, and Miles will be trying to get around him and get to the quarterback.